what is going on guys and welcome back to the channel so today we're going to take a break from working on the gto project and we're going to go ahead and jump onto the duramax here we got to do a couple things to it it's the daily it needs some maintenance but we're going to start off with doing the oil change today i did pick up some ams oil because that's what i've always used with this truck this is what i use um, I hear Hot Shots is really good and I will eventually give them a try. I'm not sure if I want to switch this truck over or if I'm going to keep this one straight up on AMS oil. But I've always had good luck with it so we're going to stick with it. I also picked up a filter from PPE. This is their big dog. It's pretty much the biggest filter I've been able to find for this thing. It filters down to 5 micron and the thing is just absolutely massive. The part number is right there. Um, I'll link all this stuff in the description guys like I always do. But I happened to come across this when I was looking for an oil filter. I figured we'd go ahead and give it a shot. That's the main reason I'm making this video is to show you guys how much bigger of a filter you can put on this thing. When we get the old one out, I will put it next to this one so you guys can see a comparison on it. But with that being said, guys, if you're not already, please think about subscribing to the channel, ringing the bell. It'll keep you up to date on the GTO, the Duramax, and the Hellcat. But let's go ahead and jump right into today's video. Alright guys, so these are the only tools you should really need for this. We've got a 15 millimeter socket and an oil filter wrench. I'm going to just go up here and pop open our oil fill real quick. And now let's go ahead under the truck and get this thing drained. Alright guys, so the first thing I like to do is go ahead and break our oil filter loose. <clears throat> kind of bad placement on GM's part. Alright, so let's let that drain for a minute and we will start draining the uh, engine oil. One of the worst parts about having no depth perception because of my eye injury. Trying to line stuff up, especially when you're laying down under here, it's pretty hard for me. All right, so while that's draining, let's go back over to the oil filter and see if we can get that thing out of there without making too much more of a mess. All right guys, so let's go ahead and take this oil filter out and set it somewhere it can drain a little bit better. And then we will cut that open while we let this drip drain for a few minutes here. And we can put the plug back in it and throw the new filter on and fill this thing up with some new oil. All right guys, so we've got the new PPE filter out of the box and I've got it set down here next to the old filter I was using. The old one is a Wix. 
Not sure if the camera does it justice, but it's just a complete massive difference. So here's some of the specs for this filter, guys. I'm sure it's all over their website. You could find it and check it out. Um, just a lot of good stuff. I also use the transmission filter from PPE for these Allisons. I did a YouTube short on that a while ago. Not sure if you can see it up under there. But that filter is also a lot larger and uh, filters a lot better. So yeah, from now on, is when it comes to maintenance stuff, I'm definitely gonna be going with these PPE filters. So let's go ahead and fill this guy up and get it on the truck. All right, guys, so we are at the bench now. We're gonna go ahead and cut open the filter that we just took off of the truck. Um, this is the oil filter cutter tool that I have. It's pretty decent, I like it. I've used it a few times so far. I think the part number is on the box. I'll link it like I always do. But so far so good, it cuts pretty decent and it's not super flimsy. Like I said, I've used it a few times now. So if you guys are looking for one, I would definitely recommend this one. So let's go ahead and put it to use and cut this filter open. I don't really see anything to be honest. I was expecting a little bit, but I don't even see that. All right, so PPE wants us to take and dump one full quart of oil into this filter so that it will help the initial prime for when we first start the truck. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Got one quart of our new oil here. All right guys, so now would be a good time to go ahead and take some oil and just lubricate the new O-ring. And I'm gonna let this thing sit for just a minute so that the filter media can suck up a bunch of that oil that we just put in there so that when we go to put it onto the truck and we have to tilt it, it doesn't spill all of our brand new oil out. So we'll let that sit here a second and go throw it on the truck. All right guys, so it's been dripping for a little while now. We're gonna go ahead and put the plug back in. All right guys, now that we've got our filter uh, filled and we've got the O-ring lubricated, we can go ahead and screw this bad boy on. They want you to go till the O-ring touches, which is right there. And then they want you to go one and a half. Well, it says one full turn, but we're going to try to get one and a half out of it. <clears throat> All right, now let's go ahead and fill this thing up. All right, guys, so these things take 10 quarts. Um... We put one in the filter, but that filter is way bigger, so I'm still going to put 10 in it, and then we'll check it. It might take a little bit more. You guys probably can't see it on camera, but it's full. So we're going to go ahead and start this thing up, let it run for a minute, and then we'll kill it and check it again, see how much that filter sucked up, see if we need to add more. We do 
have oil pressure guys truck's a little messy excuse that but we got plenty of oil pressure that's for sure no typewriter tick yet either all right let's go ahead and shut this thing down and check the oil level All right guys, not sure if you can tell, but she's full. So with this new PPE filter um, from the factory, these things are supposed to take 10 with the filter. With this filter, I think it takes right around 12. So that's where we are. I um, think we can go ahead and start this thing up and reset the light and we should be just about good to go. All right guys, the only thing left is to reset the oil light. So we're gonna take the key don't start it, just turn the key to the run position. Wait for it to fire up here. I'm gonna cancel out any messages that come up. Then we're gonna scroll until we come to remaining oil life. Then we're gonna hit the right arrow, go to reset, hit the check button and then yes. Now we've got 100%. And we can fire this thing up. Plenty of oil pressure. All right, let's go take this thing for a quick little ride. typewriter ticking pretty bad now it sounds pretty good though so definitely the engine definitely sounds a little quieter in general which is good so I think we're just gonna start changing it a little bit earlier than uh, I did last time so I'm gonna drive it around a little bit more and then head back to the house and wrap this thing up. All right guys, so we just got back from a test drive with the truck. Everything seems to be good, no leaks, oil pressure's still there, which is a huge plus. I really think that this new filter is gonna be a massive upgrade as far as oiling system goes i think it's going to help keep the oil cleaner and also it adds a couple quart capacity to the whole system which is always a plus more oil is always better in my opinion i hope you guys like this video i hope you check out the filters if you did like the video please think about subscribing and ringing the bell it'll keep you up to date on all of the gto the hellcat and the duramax content to come and we will catch you on the next one